common complaint I hear from people who work in application security is that the company they work for doesn't really know what application security is. Or I hear another complaint is that once they get a job as an application security specialist, they say that the job isn't really what they thought it would be. In this video, I'll explain to you what application security really is, what the day-to-day -day task can look like, and what sort of training and certification you can do to either become knowledgeable in the area of application security or perhaps become a full-time application security engineer or an AppSec specialist. You can call me Unix guy. I've been working in cybersecurity for nearly two decades. When I started my work in cybersecurity, I didn't have any mentors or anyone to help me, so I made so many mistakes, which is why I decided to create this video to help you avoid making the same mistakes that I made and to be the mentor that I never had. There is definitely a huge demand for application security specialist or for the skill of application security. So companies are struggling to find people who can work as either full-time application security engineers or AppSec specialists or even for cybersecurity consultants. As a cybersecurity consultant, I was always expected to know my way around application security. So it's very common for you to be a cybersecurity consultant working with firewalls and security incidents and then all of a sudden you get pulled for a project and they give you an application and they say conduct an application security assessment. So it's a highly sought after skill and also the salaries for the application security engineers can be quite high and they can actually get things like fully remote work and they can command high salaries from what I've seen in the industry. Now my knowledge of application security has actually enabled me to do so much more than I would have done otherwise if I was just specializing in one area. So for example I was consulting for this company and I was pulled to work with their marketing team. Their marketing team has implemented a data analytics platform that lives on an Adobe cloud and I had to do a security assessment for that application and that data analytics platform. So during that assessment, I learned a lot about uh, how the platform works, how the marketing team works, how the business uses that application to gain valuable insights. But it was my application security skills that got me into that project. So I worked with an external company that did a penetration test on the application. And at a later stage, they did a secure code review. The project was huge. So it was 18 months long project. So you can imagine we had different phases of penetration tests done to the application. We have various secured code reviews done and my duty as a consultant was to look at the results of those tests and help the internal teams to remediate those vulnerabilities and findings whether it's through code change and sometimes through implementing a web application firewall or what we refer to as WAF. It was a very interesting project and I personally learned a lot which is why I sort of decided to create this video to explain to you how to gain those skills and what's the quickest way to gain those skills and maybe how to get a job as a full time application security engineer or application security architect. The main problem with application security is that two individuals can have the title of an application security engineer. They can have the exact same salary and they'll be working for two different companies and they will be doing completely different tasks. So for example, one individual's day-to-day -day task can be to actually perform secure code reviews. So they will be reading codes of different applications and trying to find vulnerabilities and weaknesses in that code and that will be their full-time job. Maybe they'll be also reporting on that depends on the company. On another company, another individual will have the same title and salary, but their day-to-day -day would be to look at penetration testing reports and just advise developers on some of those remediation. Or maybe they'll be doing something like DevSecOps, or they will be just working with that software development lifecycle and just helping out with the testing without actually reading any code. Others might have the title of application security specialist, but what they really do is cloud security. I think what this results into is that some people get disillusioned with the, with the job. They think the job is not what it's supposed to be or they have a certain idea of what an application security specialist should be. And I also found that some individuals can get overwhelmed. So if, for example, one day they're working with a web application firewall and they're getting really good at it and then someone throws a mobile application at them and say, do a secure code review. And the problem, this is a specialty on its own. So not everyone can just look at a code written for an iPhone or for an Android and can tell you exactly what the problems are. So it can be stressful and sometimes, to be honest, some companies can be unrealistic about the skills they expect their engineers to have. So let me share with you what I personally did to, first of all, have some knowledge in application security, but not only that, to excel and get really good at application security. 
I never worked as a full-time application security specialist, but as I told you, as a cybersecurity consultant and later when I was a manager, every now and then some specific application security task will, uh, will be on my desk. So I'll be expected to work with certain teams that they want to create a mobile app for something and I need to make sure that the application is secure enough for the business or that the internet facing web application they have is secure enough for the business purposes. So basically what I did for my application security skills is exactly what I did for the of my cyber security skills. I started building things from the ground up using trainings, certifications with a big focus on certifications that has a hands-on lab component and training courses that are focused on hands-on practical skills. And also a big portion of my learning was being involved in projects and putting my hands up uh, whenever there is a chance to work on something new or something obscure that no one wanted to touch. I actually talked about it in this video here. It was one of the best career advice that I received and I just realized that it actually helped me build out my application security skills. So I'll share with you some of my favorite resources and training and certifications recommendation that I think will help you to build out your application security skills. The first one is portswiga.net. Portswiga is the provider for Burp Suite. If you've ever done any penetration test or have done any penetration testing course, you probably have learned how to use Burp Suite or Burp Suite Proxy, whatever it's called these days. So Portswiga, they maintain Burp Suite and they also have so many free resources. They have have so many free training as you can see they have free training courses they also have free lab based component training that you can follow and learn so if you spend enough time in there it can literally take you through each and every famous attack and popular attack on applications and how to exploit it and how to remediate that so really really good valuable resource and it's free. The second thing you need to know is familiarize yourself with the OWASP top 10. There is OWASP top 10 for web application and there is OWASP top 10 for mobile applications. OWASP top 10 is just a list of the 10 most common vulnerabilities that gets exploited in web applications. Anytime you do an application security assessment, one of the first things we do is make sure that none of the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities are in there in the source code or in the web application. You'll be surprised how many times most of the findings will be a mix of one or more of that OS top 10 so it's really worthwhile to just familiarize with yourself with them and if you find some of them are difficult or complex or you tend to forget them well the next best thing you can do is to actually do some penetration testing training and certifications it's one thing to say that I want the application to be secure from something like a cross-site scripting attack or SQL injection attack that's great as a security consultant but if you've actually done some penetration testing hands-on courses and you've actually exploited XSS or SQL injection, you'll be a lot more confident and your recommendation will be a lot more practical and suddenly the OS top 10 will look really easy to understand and comprehend. So something to keep in mind. I guess the other skill that's kind of important for application security is knowing what a web application firewall is or we refer to it usually as a WAF. You don't need to be an expert on WAFs but it's worthwhile knowing that you know we put a WAF in front of web application and it filters the attacks specifically on web applications. In some jobs, I had to learn how to configure the WAF. It's not really difficult. Usually you put it in monitoring mode, we look at certain attacks and how they are coming, and then we start blocking certain attacks. It's really interesting and it's really important to know in the context of application security because uh, no matter how secure your application is, it's really worthwhile to have that extra layer of assurance of having a WAF in front of applications. Any sane business will not have applications in production without a WAF in front of them. Now, the final recommendation which I touched on early is to actually do some penetration testing training. You don't have to be a fully fledged pen tester. Maybe you don't need to do the OSCP or something overly difficult, but Elon Security Junior Penetration Tester is a really good course, really quick, really straightforward. It will get you started in penetration testing and it will just make application security so much easier. I talked about penetration testing and how to become a penetration tester in two videos. I'll put the links to them at the end of this video, but just a word before we finish in some companies the application security professional or what they're looking for really is a software developer who can write code who can write software who understand the software development life cycle but also has some security skills where they can review the code but ultimately they wanted them to be a programmer they wanted them to write scripts all day they wanted them to automate they wanted them to push code to production it's it's really strange so if you are a software developer and you're looking to expand your security skills i think the recommendations above are solid for you and maybe add to that something like 
CompTIA Security Plus or any certification really that gives you the basics of what security is. But other than that, penetration testing skills, I think is key for any successful application pen tester. As I said, I talked about penetration testing in two videos, one of them where I helped a fresh graduate get their first penetration testing job without any experience. And the other one, I just talked about two recent uh, training courses that are available now that are so easy to follow, so easy to understand. I highly recommend you check these two videos because they contain everything you need to know about penetration testing.